Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. One of the most well-known behaviors of cats is purring. Most people associate purring with a relaxed and happy cat. While cats do purr when they are happy, that's not the only instance when they do so. As you'll soon learn, cats purr in many different situations and for many different purposes. That's right, purring is a lot more complex than you may think, and there's a lot to say about it. If you enjoy this kind of content, consider subscribing to our channel for more cat videos. Now let's explain how and why cats purr. How do cats purr? Most cat owners are familiar with the sound of their cat's purr. But few know just how complex the mechanisms behind the purr really are. How cats purr is incredibly fascinating. Cats are able to purr with their larynxes. Much like our larynxes or voice boxes enable us to speak, Cats' larynxes will allow them to purr. The larynx is a complex structure made of several different instruments that allow it to function. These include various ligaments, cartilages, and muscles. These components work together to form the vocal folds. The vocal cords and other muscles in the larynx move in a way that open and close the larynx's airways. Though research is still being conducted to fully understand the mechanism of purring, it's generally thought that purring originates in the inner larynx muscles, known as the intrinsic larynx muscles. When a particular airway within the larynx, the glottis, is opened and closed rapidly, a purring sound occurs. The larynx vibrates incredibly quickly when a cat is purring, moving it around 25 to 150 times every single second. When the air passes through this region and the brain signals the larynx to purr, the glottis quickly opens and closes, creating a speedy vibration. This vibration allows the air to reverberate around the chamber of the larynx, producing what we know as a purring sound. We still don't fully understand what happens in the brain to trigger the purring response. Most scientists now agree that a neutral oscillator is responsible for sending unique electrical messages to the larynx to produce purring. Uniquely, cats are able to purr through their entire respiratory process. Other sounds are only able to be produced during the inhale or the exhale, but the purr can be produced continuously throughout both. The meow, for example, can only be produced from an exhale. This makes the purr especially fascinating and different from other vocal movements of a cat. Overall, the purr is created by a complex process of mechanisms working together. While scientists don't fully understand how purring works, their understanding is slowly but surely growing. Why do cats purr? So, now that we've covered how cats purr, we can talk about why they purr. It's a fascinating evolutionary adaptation because, as you know, most other animals, including humans, don't purr. As mentioned earlier, purring originates in the brain. The brain sends an electrical signal to the larynx to produce a purring noise. So, what triggers this electrical signal in the brain? Well, emotions are strongly responsible for purring, and purrs can mostly be considered an expression of feeling. With that said, purring can be triggered by a wide variety of emotions. While happiness is the most commonly known cause of purring, cats will also purr when they are stressed or upset. Interestingly, purring is also observed in situations like when a cat is giving birth. This has led some scientists to believe that purring is also a self-comforting and even self-healing mechanism. Purring can occur in so many situations that it's entirely dependent on context and subtle indication to determine the cause of the purr. Purring to communicate the primary purpose of purring is to communicate. By purring, a cat is expressing how they are feeling to those around them. Purring comes very naturally to domesticated cats and is used by kittens to establish communication with their mother. At just a few days old, kittens are able to purr. Since kittens are born both blind and deaf and don't gain these senses for some time after birth, it's important that they are able to communicate in other ways. It's been thought that purring is a way for kittens to communicate and bond with their mothers. Purring lets their mothers know that they are safe or that they need something like milk or warmth. Cats also purr to communicate with people. Your cat may be letting you know that they are hungry or want attention by purring. If your cat is seeking attention or food, it may perform what's known as a solicitation purr. A solicitation purr sounds different from any other purr, combining a purr with a meow to create the sound similar to crying. You should be able to distinguish this purr from other purrs and understand that your cat is trying to communicate its needs to you. Fascinatingly, the solicitation purr is thought to replicate a human baby's cry. This suggests that cats have adapted their purrs to resonate with people and invoke maternal and paternal instincts. Solicitation purrs are recorded to reach up to 520 hertz, compared to a human baby's cry around 300 to 600 hertz. The similarity is intriguing to say the least. These purrs are also intended to be annoying. 
The solicitation purr is at quite a high frequency and is therefore quite irritating to human ears. This naturally invokes a feeling of urgency in the people who hear them. This will lead you to giving your cat what it wants, usually food, in a timely manner. So, cats not only use their purrs to communicate with other cats and human beings, but they're quite good at it too. It seems that cats can adapt their purrs to their audience in order to make them more effective. Purring when happy Purring is often observed as a phenomenon that occurs when cats are happy. When cats purr, endorphins are released in their brain as a response. Endorphins are responsible for happy emotions, so it makes sense that cats will purr when they are feeling happy. Much like humans smile and dogs wag their tails, it's thought that cats purr to communicate and foster happy feelings. It's also thought that the vibration of the purring, along with the sound, is used by cats as a means of self-soothing. You can identify a happy purr by examining the cat's body language and other indicators of emotion. If they seem relaxed with their eyes blinking slowly and their fur laid flat, they're probably purring because they are happy. A cat might give you a happy purr when they are being petted or when they are generally relaxed and comfortable. Purring when upset It's less well known that cats purr when they are upset as well as when they're happy. Purring is thought to be a form of self-comfort, so cats will purr when they are in a stressful or upsetting situation. They may also purr when they are hurt or injured. They do this to calm themselves down and comfort themselves. Consider how children suck their thumbs or rock back and forth. It's a self-comfort technique. For cats, purring can serve the same purpose. To tell if your cat is purring because they are upset or anxious, look out for accompanying body language that conveys the same message. If your cat is moving erratically, is very tense, has wide eyes, or is whipping its tail, it's probably experiencing stress or pain and is purring to calm down. If your cat is purring because they are upset, it's important to take steps to alleviate its stress if possible. You should try to get your cat's purr back to happiness as soon as you can. Purring to promote healing Believe it or not, some scientists think that purring could actually have healing properties. Cats will often purr when they are in pain or distress, but some researchers believe that they are not just purring to indicate their feelings. They may actually be purring to physically relieve their symptoms. Purring, especially low-frequency purring, sends a low vibration throughout a cat's entire body. If you've ever held a cat that is purring, you'll know that the purr reverberates throughout its entire body. You could feel a purr just as much as you can hear one. Some research suggests that these vibrations may actually speed up the healing process, mending injuries and decreasing pain. It's even been linked to healing broken or injured bones. Many cats purr when they are undergoing labor and giving birth, which can be a very painful process. Purring may serve as both self-soothing as well as a way to alleviate pain. This adds a whole new level of complexity to a cat's purring. It suggests that cats purr not only as a way to express themselves, but also to physically heal themselves. Benefits of purring on humans As we've gone over so far, purring is used by cats as means of communication, expressing emotions, and perhaps even healing. However, it can also have benefits and effects on human beings. Cats' purrs are thought to be therapeutic for people, and there is some science to support this. Because of the frequency of a cat's purr, usually between 20 and 140 hertz, purrs are thought to have some physical benefit for human beings. These frequencies are associated with therapeutic healing and lowering stress. Purrs at 30 to 50 hertz especially are thought to be associated with accelerated healing. It may be hard to believe that vibrations and frequencies could promote healing, but it isn't actually too far-fetched. In fact, scientists at NASA have worked with vibrations to promote bone health in astronauts. So it's not a stretch to believe that the vibration of a cat's purr can promote healing in both itself and human beings. Simply listening to a cat's purr can also promote feelings of calmness and relaxation. They have a very calming effect and are considered quite therapeutic. As we previously discussed, cat's purrs are thought to induce healing and even speed up the process of repairing injured bones. So it isn't too shocking to learn that a cat's purrs can have healing effects on people as well. There's plenty of research to suggest that a cat's purrs can have significant benefits for mental and physical well-being. Though more evidence will be gathered in the future, it's safe to say that a cat's purring can have quite a beneficial effect on humans. Overall, from the mechanics behind purring to the reasons cats purr, this process is very complex and fascinating. So what did you find the most interesting about purring? Let us know in the comments below. And if you learned something new, please give this video a thumbs up because it helps other cat lovers find our content. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catterday for another video.